Hey there. Welcome to my class. Come on in. Have a seat. <laughs> and uh, make sure you comment so I know you're here and I can talk to you. I love talking to you because I don't get to talk to very many people anymore since we're all stuck inside. But I am liking doing these classes, so I'm hoping you enjoy them too. So, uh, hey, Pat, does everything look the right way? Is Can you read the Stampin' Up? I always like to ask because on my screen, it looks backwards. Hey, Jenna. Yay. Just let me know if, you, if everything is reading the right way. Yo, thank you, Pat. Okay, so Jenna, are you excited? Because I was trying to get Pam to come because she loves these cards, um, loves the stamp set, and you'll be surprised once you see it, which one it's, what one she loves. It's about the beach. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad you're ready. I'm ready too. So Pam is gonna be buying this set because she says, you know, for some odd reason she likes shells now so that's because she lives at the beach so she's a little obsessed with the beach of course I would be too hey Steph how are you glad you guys could make it make sure that you comment now I did tell uh, people Pat that if they could come and they could not comment because sometimes if you get in the wrong way you can't comment to let you know that they're here and watching and then you can just put them into the drawing at the end for whoever wins for one of the cards. So, um, all right, so we're gonna start with this card here. And let me get all the, what I like to call fixins for it. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, Calypso Coral, right? No, Coastal Cabana, I get them always mixed up. Four and a quarter by 11, and I am going to score it. So let me move this out of the way. I'm going to score it at five and a half. Whoop. Now I got us all. There we go. All right, score it at five and a half. All right. I love beach sets too. I think it's, I said in my blog tonight, so if you guys miss anything, go to my blog so you can see everything there. But I said, you know, give me a lawn chair with an umbrella and possibly a man bringing me drinks and I will be happy. I love the beach. So... I was going to say a boy bringing me drinks, but I prefer a man. All right. So, um, and it does, it could be a Diet Coke. You know, I love Diet Coke. So um, we have this. So I'm going to set that aside real quick. I'm going to come in with two pieces of white that are ones for the inside and ones for the front. Uh, they are uh, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. I just like a little bit more of a border on the outside. And I don't know that you can see this. Oh, maybe you can a little bit. There's sparkle. I'm going to show you how I got sparkle on the whole thing. Okay. So what you're going to do, whoop, let me move these, is you're going to put one of these into the um, 3D folder called Seabed. And this is in the big catalog which I thought this was pretty awesome that we have something that will work with the ones in the mini. So you run that through your machine and then you're going to come out ta -da, with this. And so that's going to be your background. And then we are going to bring in the um, dies that are the rectangle stitched framelits. And we're going to use the fourth one from the outside. I think it's fourth. Nope, it's, yes, it's the fourth. That's smaller. The fourth one from the, the biggest. So it's the fourth biggest. Is that the right way to say it? I don't know. All right, so we, we cut that out of white. 
and we're going to come in with Coastal Cabana and our new blending brushes. And we are going to also use Soft Suede because that is my favorite brown ever. And this got torn a little bit, but let's put it where the sand is because then you won't see. We'll cover it up with the shells. Okay, so I'm going to do the sand first so then I don't forget to go like don't bring the sky or the sea down too far. So I'm going to go ahead and just rub it a little bit off the side and then well you really can see where it got torn. Good thing that we're doing it to where you won't be able to see it. So you're going to make it to where it's got a nice sandy bottom. Now I did get this idea from I think her name is Jen oh Clothier. Clothier? I don't know how to Clothier, I I got this idea from her. So um, she had hers that this was the sky and sand, but or the sea and sand. I'm not sure which one, but I want it to look like it's underground, uh, underwater. So I'm going to go in with my coastal and my brush, and I like to do it on its side, and just take a teeny bit off so that you don't get splotches, and then come in. And you're going to be using quite a bit of this. So you want to make it pretty dark. I love these new brushes. So happy that Stampin' Up! decided to bring these in. So how's everybody's Thursday going? We got snow this morning, not much, but we got some and it was cold. I still want it darker, so I'm not even gonna tap it off. Let's see how that works. Plus my ink pad's probably dry. That looks better now that I'm not taking it off. Okay. So I'm going to come in with a sponge and just do these outer edges because I really like them to stand out. And I'm just going to go around that. It just, to me, it makes it look more like a scene when you have like some kind of a border in color. And then we are going to come in with the soft suede for the bottom which I probably don't even need to re-ink it because this said pretty a lot on there. Okay. All right, so what I do is I take a piece of um, vanilla and I put it into the seashells die just to get the, the ones that I want because I want to be able, I think it was this one, this one, maybe this one. Um, I just want to be able to use what I want and I don't want it to be the whole thing. So then I came out with these. So these are the three that I wanted and I'm gonna go over it with my soft suede. And this is gonna pick up all the, the things that the dye left, which, I love these folders, they're so pretty. So you're gonna sponge that, and you could, let me show you, if you did it like with the stamp set and then you could die cut it out, but I'm gonna fussy cut these because I want it to be, um, it's just a, three small things. So I'm gonna fussy cut those. So here they are. Boy, I'm fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get so tickled with myself sometimes. Flood warnings. Wow. All right. So I am going to go and just sponge the edges of these because I, like I said, I like to have my edges be a little bit darker. Are you expecting a flood or is it already too late? I've been seeing everything. And where do you live, Steph, again? I forgot. Oh, 
Okay, so I got those three. Then I'm going to stamp my little seaweed, and that is from the stamp set. Did, I did show you that, right? Friends are like seashells. I love all the sayings in this, and it has the dyes that come with it. Um, friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way, and it's just so... One of them says, I love you to the beach and back. I just am like... That definitely was me, for me. They thought of me. All right, so I'm gonna use just jade and I'm just gonna stamp it a couple times to make it look like it's behind. And then that way it gives a little bit of shadow. And one thing that you could do is when you're doing your, um, your, folder is that when you go to cut it out, it has this cute little grass thing here. I just thought this was just so cute. And it does the fussy cutting for you. But you could put this here if you wanted to kind of add a little bit of more dimension. But we're not going to do that today. I just wanted to show that just in case that you thought that was a good idea. All right. So I want this to go like this. Okay, the UK. Sorry, I was reading instead of, see, now I want to make sure that this blocks off that torn spot. So I'm going to make that go there. And then this is going to go right here. And I think that's super cute. All right, so then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of that. because I like things to be popped up. And I am not chintzy with my dimensionals. Because I hate like having it sag anywhere. All right. So I'm gonna stick that on the piece that we already put through. Oh wait, shoot, I did forget something. Okay, I have to take the dimensionals off because I have to stamp the saying. I'm like, this looks kind of sad. It's missing something. All right, hopefully I won't mess it up. We're just wasting, that's all. See what happens when you get ahead of yourself? Thinking, boy, this card was much simpler than I thought. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. You'll be like, ah, oh, no problem. Good thing this is the back. I am tearing it a little bit. Okay. Goodness. Get a little carried away. All right, so I'm going to bring in the Stamparatus because I love it so. And I've already set it up so that it's straight, but you, if you have this one mat in here, when you go to stamp it, since these are straight lines, you can see if you lined it up and then you can line your paper up with it. And I think that this is how I had it. Let me check, yep. Okay, and then I'm using this spot because it's so much easier and it doesn't get it all over the, um, the other side. So I'm going to ink this up. And then if you get a mis have a mistake or it doesn't get it the whole way, you can just lay it down again and it'll work. Beautiful. Okay, so let me clean that. I used one of our um, wipe things. I can't remember the name right this second. And I know Pat's got it on the tip of her tongue. I'm sure. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't think of it. All right. Now we're going to put dimensionals on the back. And it'll come to me as soon as I stop pressuring myself. All right, let's try this again.
I want to say stamp and scrub, but that was our old one. Shammy, thank you, Gail. I didn't even see you come in. You saved the day. <laughs> yes, the Simply Shammy. Love it. All right, now we're going to put this on. And you kind of want to look at it and see which way you want it to go, even though it's not much showing. Okay. Oh, and I got a little bit whew, on there. All right. So then we're going to put this onto our front. And I'm using the, uh, the Seal Plus because I like things that stick. I don't want it to ever come off. Unless I want it to, of course. All right. And I do have a little speck there, but we are going to fix that in a minute. It just gives me room for more embellishment. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to bring in a bottle that it's one of our old um, Stampin' Mist bottles. You can use our spritzers. Um, I filled it up with rubbing alcohol and then like four drops of the champagne mist uh, shimmer paint. And it makes this beautiful uh, shimmery look to it. So I'm going to bring in my box with, so I don't spritz this everywhere, which I've done forever, but we're going to just, and you just spritz it. And then of course you got to let it dry. but since it's alcohol, it will dry really fast. And sometimes you do get a little bit of splatter from the champagne mist, but it's all good because it just adds to it. So we have that. And then we're gonna come in with the opal rounds. And I am not gonna do that right yet because it's still a little damp, but let me show you where I put them. I thought they looked like bubbles. And this is how I thought, um, <laughs> yeah, Gail saved the day. Uh, this is how I thought it looked like bubbles underwater. So you can, they could just be embellishments if you don't want it to be for under the water. They're almost dry, but I'm not going to deal with that yet. Okay, so for the inside, we are going to bring in our piece of white, the same size as we had before. And again, I am going to sponge the bottom with the um, soft suede just to ground it and make it look like they go together. And then I'm going to do the seaweed again with the just jade. Gail, how you feeling? I've been thinking about you all day. And again, I just did the two and then, um, I brought in, there is a cute little dot set that works as like sand. So I'm going to go ahead and do that along the bottom. And I just stamp off and do hole just so it doesn't look all the same. Hey, Kathy. Thank you. I love it too. I was, I got the idea from someone else, but, um, and I gave her credit. But I love beach cards. All right, so I'm bringing this in again so I can get the sentiment. And I just flipped over my my lid so I can set it up. Love my Stamparatus. At least I remembered that name. And I always try to have it come back further or down more because it's harder to get the edges. And let's see if I have it set up good. Yes, I do. Yes, um, there are a lot of things out there to find with this set. And I go to the beach with my family a lot. So this is going to be used for scrapbooking too. So I said, I'm so happy I found you like you find seashells. Love that. And then let me wipe off that again before I close it. Just to be on the safe side. And I cut a simple, simple chamois into half. I know I already told you that, but I didn't remember the word or the name of it. So I'm doing it again now. All right. So that's going to go on the inside. Oh, 
Well, if that ever happens to you, where it tears your paper because it's so sticky, it's just come in from the other way. And then it will go right on over it. Okay. Whoops. Card. I put it aside and then couldn't find it. All right. And normally I do a lot of layers, but I thought this card spoke for itself. And it's dry enough now to where I can put on the bubbles with my pick a tool or take your pick. And there's a blob there. <laughs> and we'll put one up here. And then one more on that blob. There, you can't even tell now. All right. So that's that card. I love it. All right, so I'm going to stick these aside for a second, move my stuff so we can start fresh. All right, and there we go. All right, so the next card Isn't that pretty? Now, my next one I did when I colored it again for you guys, you know, because of TV, I get to do them ahead of time. They're a little bit darker, but I love this uh, foil paper. Let me show you what comes in this foil paper. It is the Love You Always. And this is, um, I'm trying, uh, gosh, I can't remember the name. Shoot. There is Sahara Sand and Blushing Bride. And then this one, I don't remember. I'm sure it's, hey, Mary. Oh my God, hi, Mary. I have missed you. I'm probably embarrassing her and she's rolling her eyes, but that's okay. All right. All right, so we're going to come in, and this time we're doing the card, um, the regular, well, what I would normally do. This is, uh, my mind is, um, come on, it is Bermuda Bay. It's five and a half by eight and a half. Mary threw me. That's what it is. <laughs> She's going to kill me. All right. So... This gets scored at four and a quarter. And then I always like to, even though I score it, as I always like to make sure that the edges line up before I crease it. But this kind of helps. And then I use my bone folder to get a nice crisp edge. Okay, so then we have pieces of Flirty Flamingo that is five and a quarter by four times two because I have one for the front, one for the inside. Then these two are the same, which are five by three and three quarters. And one is um, soft sea foam and white. All right, so we will once again put this into the seabed um, embossing folder and run it through. And I have it right here. And what I like to do every time that I do something as a background is I bring in the same color that I did it on. <laughs> I'm just chuckling because Mary said hi to me. Um, and then I go over it just to bring out all the detail. Uh-oh, the little monster's on my lap, so he may want to come and say hi in a minute, but I'm hoping not. <laughs> if you've been watching me, you know I got a kitty about three or four months ago, and... He is so cute. Okay, so now you see how that brought out everything for that? I love that. All right, and then we are going to go ahead and put this onto the front. 
Where did I put my tape? Oh, right here. Hi, guy. Center that. Okay, then I'm going to put this on top of that. Uh, I like that. All right, so we have this specialty paper. Whoops, that's not. It's this one. Specialty paper. It's pearlescent. Can you see how pretty that is? Well, I ran it through the the um, the folder for the seashells, and I have these three that I'm going to be using. Let me move them. And I they I tried stamping them on here, but they didn't. It didn't hold it because it's uh, it just rubbed off. So. I embossed it and then I just like this look better the way I'm doing it now. So that's why we've kind of changed. So I'm going to bring in Misty Moonlight for this one. And I'm using my daubers because they're easy. I think it is Rococo Rose. Thank you, Pat. You saved the day. <laughs> All right. So I just want it. No, don't you want my bracelet. I want it to be dark, and then I'll put that aside. It's like asking for trouble, though, having a dangly braces, bracelet when you have a kitty in the house. All right, and then I'm going to do this one also with a dauber. Guys, stop. And I want it dark because my first one wasn't very dark, and it just didn't look as shell-like, all right? And then the last one, because I wanted to bring in all the colors, is the Bermuda Bay, and that one is for this one. And I guess I should have used my old one when I'm doing this part, because now I've got this one dirty. Oh, well. Okay, so you kind of get the gist on that. And then you're going to cut them out, fussy cut them, or you could put them in the die, like I said, but it just was easier to fussy cut for me. All right, so then I also ran through, and now I did it twice because I wanted the dimension of some of it, but the only part that really gets the dimension is this leaf right here. This is the same, but um, I ran it through with the foil. And then I lined it up after because it matches with this. And because this will cut out this perfectly, which is, I mean, they were genius to do this. So once you ran it through the folder and then cut it out, I mean, and colored it and cut it out. I cut them into uh, smaller sections only because I wanted it to be where... Um, I didn't overlap any of my colors. All right, so here is what I came up with. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Oh, it's right here. All right, so I have these, and I haven't taken everything out yet. That's how I usually fix it is by flicking it. Guys, stop. All right, so then I need to bring in my scissors, which do you like my... Scissor charm here, isn't that pretty? Wait till you see what I have for our, um, it's not gonna be as exciting, but um, I love it because when I go places, and with Stampin' Up, I go a lot of places, um, I'm always wanting to make sure I get my own scissors back. All right, so I trim off the parts that I that don't quite go that aren't what I want. Let me get all that. And separate it from the other pieces. So <laughs> he is loving all these charms. I'm surprised he's not up here with you guys. 
All right. So I have all of these. I don't know that I'm going to use them all, but they're there. It's kind of nice that all this can be used. All right. So I am going to lay these out how I want them. And I'm going to kind of put it like that and then maybe like that. Okay. So I'm going to come in and just put a little bit of adhesive. Oh, it doesn't want to stick. Hold on. Might be because it doesn't like this paper. So we're still going to make it work. So I'm going to do it on the back. Because I put ink on it. There we go. All right. So that's going to go like this. Then I'm going to have some tape on the back to hold these pieces that I want. And I'm just going to put it all over just for now so we can figure out where we want it. So, hold on one second. We need to get rid of this one spot. That doesn't need to be there. Okay. I like that. And then that. Maybe a little bit here. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right. So now I'm going to bring in my dimensionals again, because like I've said, if I can see them, which I know they're right here. I've just been putting stuff on top of each other. Yep. All right. So this is why I have everything on here so I can make sure that this holds really together. Did you see his paw, Pat? Yes, he's uh, he's quite the handful today. Oh, he's down. He said, nope, I've had enough. All right. I want to make sure I have everything stuck down well. Okay. So we're going to bring this back in. Did I tell you I like dimensionals? I'm going to put one more. Yes, the foil sheets are so pretty. And this Blushing Bride works so well for this card because it's not too bright, but it's good enough to wear... Oh my gosh, you guys, that came out so good. All right, let's see. I got to try to keep it within the barrier here. So we might have to trim that, but I think that is so pretty. All right, so then we're going to come in with, I mean, I like this one better than the last one. I like these colors too. All right, so I'm going to come in and give them some pearls, the um, opal rounds. Uh, let's see. Whoop. And you should always kind of stick to three and try to do a kind of a triangle with it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay. So then I am going to do the inside and we are going to put this on the inside and then I'll stamp. I don't know why I turned it over. Habit. All right, because I like my insides to look the same as the outside because I think it looks more finished that way. Okay, and then for the inside, I'm going to stamp, and I'm not using the Stamparatus, so hopefully I get it right, is the um, one that says, happy birthday to my beautiful friend, and I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay. And let's see if I can line it up. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Hi, guy. And then I'm going to come in with a, a shell with my flirty flamingo. And just put it down here at the bottom. Now, if you wanted to, I 
thought that it would be kind of pretty is that I, let's see, with my pearlescent, I don't think I, oh yes I did. And this is a smaller one, but this is the pearlescent paper. And you could just use that instead to kind of have it go in the front, but I wanted to stamp. So that's what I did. All right. And then I am done. And then I get to show you what you get if you decide to join. Because right now during celebration is the time to join. And we have monthly um, team meetings where we do make and takes. And I mail them to you. And we get together on Zoom. Well, it's not really Zoom, but it's close. And we have a lot of fun. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right. Um, if you join, I'll show you my uh, pillow gift here in a minute. Is that you get all of these DSPs, which there's 200 of them in all the color families. And you, uh, you only get to order the, or get this if you join right now. Otherwise, you have to wait for the very new... Uh, catalog in June. So this is like you get ahead of everybody. So and being a demonstrator, um, I got to order this ahead of time too. All right, so let me show you my pillow gift. So if you order $35 or more, you get not only all the fixings for this card for both cards, you get all the paperwork for it the paperwork, <laughs> the cardstock, all the, the die cuts done for you. Um, the, uh, enough of the, um, opal rounds. I would die cut this for you, run these through the machine and send it all to you. You would also get this pillow gift just for $35, but inside, let me show you. Well, I'm trying to do it without messing it up is isn't this the cutest little box? Is a little ring that you can attach to your scissors. And um, that way you can always know that they're yours. Or you can use it for something else if you'd like. You don't have to do them to your scissors. I just do that because I think that's important to know which scissors are yours. But they go with the colors of the um, dye are the cards that we just used. And let me show you real quick how to put it together because when you get it, this folds flat. I'll have it decorated. You just have to pop it open. But to put the box together, I want to show you how to do that because it is a little confusing. So it comes, no, there's no adhesive at all. If I can get this apart without messing it up. Uh, it's in there so well. So this is how it comes, just like this. And I will have this on there for you. And what you do is you bring in the corners first, or the sides, and then bring this in. This one doesn't go in yet. But bring in the both the sides, and then this flap goes up, and you just tuck it in, and then you tuck it in. The next goes the one with the little, um, divot or thing in there the, that you can pop in there and it folds. So all three of these are folded down now. And then this folds down and then this right here just goes into that little notch. Isn't that cute? And then this goes on. Ah, love it. All right, so I'm gonna stick this back for whoever one of you does an order and I will mail it to you. All right, so who is going to win our card today? And you can tell me which one that you would rather have, this one or this one. I'd say that pick the shell one, but they're both shells. So I just want to keep. So um, with the foil or the ones with the other one? Oh, Jenna. Yay, Jenna. Okay, so which one do you want? I already have your address, so I'll send it to you. But which card of these do you like the most?
you can get back to me if you're busy. I don't want to sit here and wait for you because you might be trying to figure it out. So, all right. Well, every Thursday I have this class and all you have to do is come and sit and watch and learn and talk. And um, you can be in on the drawing for entering one of these just by commenting. If you haven't already, please like my page and subscribe because I need my numbers to go up in order for other people to see it. So I'd really appreciate it. Doesn't mean you have to always come and watch everything, even though you've subscribed, but it does help me out a lot. All right. Well, I will see you next Thursday, I hope. And Jenna, make sure you let me know which cards you would like. All right. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Thanks, Pat and Gail.